I think if you have seen this uh, guide sheet before, yeah, Padlet guide sheet 4, okay, on Padlet, okay, so kita dah ada dekat sini the step by step guideline on how to do it, okay, but, okay, for this purpose, kita akan buat sama-sama dulu, but if you lost somehow, somehow, somewhere, if you lost somehow, somewhere, you can always get back to these uh, handouts, okay, all right. So let's go to Padlet. Let's, of course, the first thing to do is you sign up with a Padlet. Okay. For those yang dah ada Padlet tu tak perlu sign up lah. Those yang belum lagi, uh, please uh, sign up with a Padlet. All right. Okay. And then once we sign up, because this one is outside, macam uh, lesson tadi dalam elite, dia adalah uh, dalam dalam elite itself. So tak perlu nak sign up di luar. Okay, so yang ni kena perlu sign up. Uh, jadi kita log out dulu. Okay, kalau tak tahu dia punya, uh, dia punya, dia punya URL, it's uh, padlet.com. So kita google je, kalau tak tahu pun no problem, kita google je Padlet And then if you haven't got, you can sign up If you have, uh, if you got it already, an account uh, You can, you can um, continue with it, okay We click plus sign, make Padlet Okay, make Padlet Alright Let's say we choose um, shelf okay let's say we choose or maybe you can choose wall or shelf i did either one first okay all right let's say i just like to use shelf okay i click shelf ah salah click select bawah dia okay click select all right so Alright, now uh, normally Padlet will suggest uh, wallpaper. So you can choose your own wallpaper. Okay, click here, either solid colors. If you choose solid colors, just different type of solid colors. If you choose gradient, different types of gradient. Yeah, but I really like pictures. I don't know why. And uh, let's just choose one. Uh, donut bunga. Okay. Which one is nice? I think uh, this one looks nice. All right. Okay, done. Okay. And after that, we choose a uh, wallpaper that we like. And then we can change the title. Okay, change the title. Let's say, uh, let make his, let make his. Uh, let be okay and then we can put some description okay uh, description uh, bite size bite bite size bite size packet all right so if you want to put icon you can put icon but if you don't want just leave it all right and then color scheme, you just take as is and font. Uh, normally, I don't change the font. I just take uh, as it is. Okay, attribution. Uh, you ask the author to uh, for their names. Okay, either you can uh, activate it or not. It's up to you. Okay, and then new position. Let's say you choose uh, the new position first, and then comment. We can allow the comment. Okay. Activate the comment. Kejap. Uh, Ujai, boleh tolong bacakan apa dekat chat ke? Ke I laju sangat? Apa dia kata eh, dekat chat? I laju sangat ke? We claim if we upgrade Padlet or Pro. Oh, and we claim? Ah, this one tak ada lah kot. Tak ada claim. <laughs> you have to pay yourself. Macam myself, I use Zoom. Uh, tak ada claim eh. So this one, oh, oh for sorry, uh, I I use the free version of Padlet. Okay, if you want to have a pro version, you can have more attribution or more tools. Okay. All right. Uh, later on, I will uh, I will include your attendance here, Rodolph. Okay. All right. And then reaction. Let's say for this one, 
we just click like all right we want the um our click to like our post or not and then a by can require approval a by can filter profanity i believe that none of us will use the bad words yeah all right and then done you are set and then we can start posting Ta -da! okay because i choose column okay and i have to provide the column let's say this now uh we um put some apa dia okay ikut negeri lah eh? selangor okay save all right and then uh kelantan because our madam dean is around so she might be very very happy to see kelantan name is there and of course our beloved sarawak and then ujai orang kedai kedai pula kan and then uh uh, Kedah Kelantan Perlis Okay, kita nak buat tak aruf sikit lah According to negeri, contohnya Contohnya And then what else? Uh, siapa Sabah, lagi? Sabah ha? Sabah jangan lupa kat you Sabah jangan Kesian, lupa kan? ha? Tengah panas ni kan Sabah <laughs> And then uh, Kita ada Selangor Lupa pula negeri ku tercinta Okay and then kita ada maybe Melaka and then the rest lah eh. Okay, janganlah kecil hati kalau tak letak, okay. And then others. Okay, ni contoh je kan nak letak semua kan uh, bila nak habis. Okay. And then, okay, that that's it for today. I mean for, for this exercise. Kita dah letak nama negeri, okay. And then uh, now kita kena buat padlet lu baru boleh embed dalam, dalam elite. Okay, kalau kita buat dekat elit dulu, kita letak dulu label, nanti kita nak labelkan apa kan. So, we have to prepare the padlet first. Later on, we uh, embed in elit. Okay. Uh, kalau, yang ni kita buat elit eh. Kalau tak dekat elit, let's say you nak share dalam WhatsApp group. Okay, you nak share dalam WhatsApp group lagi senang. Okay, you just highlight this one, you copy and then you paste dalam your WhatsApp group. Okay, ataupun macam I buat tadi, kita copy, kita letak dalam chat. Uh, come on, come on, where is my chat? Dia tak nak keluar pula dah. Okay, semua dah hilang dah ni. Hold on ya. Okay, letak dalam chat. I just click in here and then done. Just macam kita copy link biasa lah. Okay. Lepas cukup 8 palette boleh delete yang tak pakai lagi. Ya betul. Tapi yang ni saya punya sebab because I've already used this palette for long time ago. I can have more than 8 palette. Yeah. Uh, but for for newly subscribers, uh, maybe the palette is only maybe maximum up to 8. And after that you have to do it. Oh maybe you can archive. Archive the palette. Alright. So, done. And then now, yang ni tadi uh, tujuk tadi adalah untuk uh, untuk copy and paste kalau dekat WhatsApp ataupun dekat email, okay? ataupun dekat mana mana platform yang ini nak guna synchronous. Tapi kalau ini nak guna dekat nak uh, embed dalam uh, ilib, boleh juga kita boleh tak kita just um, copy and paste sahaja like this boleh tak ada masalah. Tetapi, okay? tetapi let's say Kita tunjuklah bukti dia. Okay. Tadi kita pergi dekat EBP 1013. Okay. Yang ni I delete lah. Okay. Let's say kalau kita uh, letak saja link. Okay. Ataupun kita kelak letak link. And then kita kena buat link. Sorry, sorry. This. Okay. Ini kalau kita tak letak dalam label lah, kalau kita tak embed. Kita letak link sahaja dan student kena pergi ke another site, another what we call a window. Kalau macam Ujai sebut tadi lah. Uh, Kalau pagi tadi Ujai kata kalau nak pergi ke link lain tu nanti dia hang lah and then susah student kalau guna kalau guna phone susah dia nak buat kerja dekat pergi ke link-link lain nanti jam jam lah hang lah apalah. So 
Yang tu pun tak ada masalah boleh dibuat Tapi now sekarang ni kita nak buat macam mana Dia kita boleh nampak student post tanpa kita pun Kalau ni pun kalau kita pun kena pergi ke link tu Kalau nak access kan tak nampak tak uh, Banyak kerja lah Now kita nak buat Embed dalam tu supaya student boleh buat terus aktiviti dalam tu Update terus dalam tu orang lain pun boleh tengok dalam uh, Kita punya uh, topik ataupun learning unit ataupun minggu Okay the week Uh, column, uh, apa dipanggil ni? Uh, compartment, I panggil dia compartment I don't know what to call this, I panggil compartment yeah? Let's say I want to put um, the embed version of my padlet in topic to compartment okay. Again, add an activity or resource okay. Click label Click label okay. And then kita klik add Okay dan dekat sini okay. So what we can do Kita pergi balik semula to our padlet just now Kita klik share here Atas ni ada share okay. And then we click embed in your blog or website Click this one yeah. Jangan klik uh, uh, Kalau klik tu link tu clipboard dia tak jadi okay. Click to embed in your blog or website Click the copy this one Click copy Don't worry about anything else. We go back to our uh, elite, we paste, and then we click save and return to course. And oh oh, dia tak jadi. <laughs> Lawak betul lah. Uh, hari ni tu lah. Agaknya I wake up at the the other side of the uh, of the bed. Okay. Buat lagi sekali. Jangan risau kalau tak jadi. Jangan susah hati. Okay. Sebab itu adalah perkara biasa. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ya, yeah, jadi. Ha, tadi tak baca bismillah kan. Okay. Jadinya now, kita dah boleh tengok dah. Student pun boleh terus uh, click here, the link. And boleh isi. Okay. So, let's, this one kalau guna padlet lah. Eh, kalau guna elip. Okay, so maybe uh, you said that oh nanti student I ada yang dekat elip boleh yang dekat uh, tapi kita orang nak buat aktiviti ni uh, some student susah nak access elip boleh tak kita buat dalam chat sahaja I uh, embed dalam WhatsApp boleh tak ada masalah so sebabnya kenapa I kata tak ada masalah sebab bila dia update dia update uh, what we call real time so you can you can share okay you can share Copy link to clipboard ataupun you just uh, highlight this one, you copy and you paste dekat you punya uh, WhatsApp group dengan student. Dan student boleh buat aktiviti di situ. Dan bila result dia akan kembali balik di sini. Contohnya macam tadi, bayah boh. Okay, bayah boh. Uh, bayah boh ni tak masuk dalam, I think they don't uh, he or she. Okay, he or she uh, was not in my elip. Tapi dia guna link dalam my uh, chat tadi kan. Tapi boleh masuk dalam elit pun, I boleh tengok. Okay, so maksudnya kita bagi keluasan. Uh, this is the beauty of Padlet kalau kita embed dalam elit. Okay, dan kalau student yang nak guna dalam elit terus pun tak apa. Kalau yang nak guna dalam chat pun tak apa. Tapi end result dia kita boleh view dalam elit terus. Okay, so okay boleh tak kita... Um, kan you all dah ada, dah ada you, I think you all dah buat kan? Uh, boleh tak dekat sini? Okay, you let, you click saja. Let's say saya from Selangor. Okay, I put my name. Okay, and then I put my uh, padlet link. Copy. Pick up a column to post. Buka ada letak ke tadi? Ha. Okay. Jap, jap, jap. Delete, delete, delete. Delete, delete. Okay. Alright, so I put here link. Uh, sebab apa tadi? Uh, I tak enter URL. Okay, control V. Okay, save. So this one is um, how to share the link. Okay, so now I believe that all of you have done it. Sebab nanti nak tengok jadi ke tak kan, nak suruh student buat nanti student tanya apa masalah dia, kita tak tahu. Jadi bolehlah buat. Saya pun dah demo tadi yang saya salah-salah. So you all can learn from that. Okay. Uh, so, bagian boh ni uh, 
I boleh edit post. Ha, I boleh edit post because uh, I'm the owner of this padlet. Tapi macam Ujai, Ujai tak boleh nak uh, edit bagian boh ni nama siapa? Sebab Ujai hmm. bukan ah uh, Ujai bukan uh, owner of this padlet. Okay, cuma saya dan author yang post bagian boh ni yang boleh uh, delete ataupun edit. Okay, alright. Macam Jennifer, I nak uh, tambah Jennifer. Uh, I cakap, I kenal Jennifer ni, I nak tambah Jennifer ni. Ah, boleh. Okay, tak ada masalah. So, boleh tak you all uh, letak dekat sini, kita tengok result dia dan kita boleh visit kawan-kawan kita punya uh, simple padlet exercise. Just, uh, kemudian nak, nak apa orang kata, nak edit pun tak apa, boleh. Ni exercise the first one. Okay, yang lama sajalah cik, uh, ni. Boleh, cik boleh. Cik boleh. Tak tak apa lah, saya pakai ni cik. <laughs> Boleh, cikgu pun okey. Cikgu pula. Ada masalah anak murid. <laughs> okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. I share yang lama sajalah ya. Eh. Yeah, those uh, who haven't tried before, okay. You can try kenapa to... Kenapa tak keluar? I dah letak post, dekat situ. Ah, uh, You can post the link. Ni dah letak link kat situ. Kenapa tak keluar kat you? Click link. Refresh. You oh. enter tak? Uh, click link, link kat sini. Kejap, kejap, kejap. Hmm. Tak ada pun. Ha? Tak ada? Ha ada. Tapi ha. dia letak bahagian komen pula. Ha. Macam mana nak Kenapa letak? Kenapa bahagian komen lah? Ha? Oh Boleh link ni. Okay okay okay. okay. Ha. I got it. I got it. I got it. Ha. You, you you click this one. Okay. Kalau macam ni dia tak ada nama kan? Ha. Hmm. Ha. Kalau nak buat macam tu sebab nanti kalau let's say contoh ni contoh yang baik eh. Kalau student, let's say dia dia buat dekat sini ini yang sama ke? Okay. Ada buang yang lama tadi tu. Ah, ada okay. yang baru. Ada buang dah. So Cuma okay. Refresh. Ah ya ya. So kita buat kita boleh like, click like. Yeah. Hmm. Alright. Boleh bagi star juga kan, Kak Yong? Ah kalau kita pilih star, kita bagi star lah. But this one hmm. sebab tadi ah, I punya setting adalah tengok eh. I punya setting adalah like. Kalau hmm. kita nak tukar star pun boleh. So dia ada satu je tak boleh orang ni star, orang ni uh, like, or, orang ni uh, what we call markah tak boleh. Only one saja. Okay. Alright. Okay Dr. K. Yeah. Good. Alright. This one. Uh, alamak. Macam mana Ahmad tahu asking kegemaran Kak Yung ni? <laughs> okay. Alright. Dan kita boleh komen lah. Okay, I like. Dan biasanya, biasanya, kalau student ah, because um, because this one I sign in, and akan keluar nama I lah dekat sini. Kalau you tak sign in, uh, student just comment, dia akan keluar anonymous. That's why if you want the student's uh, name to be appear, you ask them to sign in. Okay, another way of doing it is, for example, tadi yang macam portfolio, kalau kita tengok tadi Cikgu Hana, Cikgu Hana dia yang siapkan portfolio dan dia tengok student punya, uh, dia yang siapkan group 1, group 2, group 3 sampai group 9, for example. Dan dia yang bagikan kolom-kolom tu. Uh, another way of doing it, I think, uh, I'm thinking, student maybe boleh create their own portfolio dan kita letak je group 1 nanti dia bagi link kepada dia punya portfolio macam you all bagi link uh, dekat ai you all punya padlet okey so dia orang create their own padlet secara tak langsung kita empower them to learn on how to create all these thing jugaklah and then they, i think uh, one of the lecturer dekat FSTS dulu dia dia buat macam tu it's quite interesting dan FSGK if i'm not mistaken okey so it's quite interesting tapi cuma nya jika student tu delete dia punya padlet kita tak boleh access lagi lah. The good thing about we have, uh, we ask the student to submit in our padlet, uh, everything in our padlet, kita in control. Okay, because last time, uh, one lecturer in FSTS, I'm not mistaken, dia buat banyak, uh, banyak student punya portfolio untuk fotografi, wildlife fotografi, uh, ke fotografi, saya tak ingat lah. Tapi dia kata bila sebab dia tak in control of that, hilang dia punya portfolio tu, and then uh, sayang lah. So I check I I suggest to him uh, next time you have this uh, portfolio then you minta student uh, submit dekat you punya uh, you punya you punya padlet so that all the portfolio is in your folder 
uh, in your padlet. So tak hilang benda tu. So kalau nak submit competition ke sekarang ni kan ada banyak competition kan. Blended learning pun ada competition kan. Uh, I hope some uh, apa academic award. Okay macam-macam ada jenis academic award. So that you can you can uh, get that information from uh, to support your application from padlet. This one is the way that I can think not only for teaching and learning for our own benefit as well later in the future. Especially yang muda-muda, uh, pensyarah muda-muda ni lah kan. Ah. Okay, sebab uh, banyak lagi yang you all boleh um, uh, develop from that portfolio. Okay, uh, kita ada tiga contoh. Okay, uh, dengan Shubaili, dengan uh, Jane. Yang lain-lain tu mungkin shy-shy cat lah kot. Eh? Okay, but then I hope that Ah, uh, you from? Ah, ya saya. Dah Rio, cuba kat Rio tekan nak update tu. Ha? Kenapa? Ah, ah dah. Eh, tak refresh. <laughs> okay, ada orang kedah ni. <laughs> okay, Friday Starbucks. Siapa dia Friday Starbucks ni? <laughs> okay, and okay, ni tadi sebab uh, kan uh, when I set just now. Okay, let's go to the setting. I set dia a new purpose a position first so because jane tadi dia uh, the first one yang post jadinya dia bila ada orang lain post under sarawak ni jane punya post terkebawah lah eh? okay so it's up to you mana yang best terpulang kepada you because for me myself uh, kalau untuk student i tengok siapa yang han, yang paling awal tu maksudnya dia yang paling lambat hantar uh, okay uh, this one catch this cat. Alright. Like. Macam so kita like lah semua orang. Okay. Tapi kalau bagi star pun best juga. And then kita boleh comment. Okay. iPhone 12 coming soon. Alright. Okay. So that's the example. Dapat idea lah eh. Uh, hopefully. Tapi yang my concern. Okay. Kalau boleh. Kalau boleh. Okay. I nak tengok the result. Uh, I give you sometimes about 15 minutes, yeah, 15 minutes for you to embed, to do some exercises and actually um, uh, take a picture or screenshot and upload dekat sini sebab I nak tengok apa yang you all letak yang boleh dalam elip ni. Okay, yang you all dah masukkan dalam elip. Okay, so that uh, the step by step in elip tu taklah complicated sangat. Senang je sebenarnya. So that kita boleh uh, share with one another apa yang kita dah buat. Let me provide one example. This one yang I dah buat tadi. Okay. Uh, kita kecilkan sikit. Yang I dah buat. You all boleh contoh je lah screenshot. And then click new. Okay. Topic 2. Okay. Click copy. Oh dia tak boleh. Save as. Kita save as dekat. Ha huh, banyak ni. Desktop, capture one. Okay. And then saya boleh uploadkan dia supaya kita boleh tengok result. Padlet mana padlet tadi? Uh, dekat sini kah? Okay. And then I tambah dekat sini. Plus sign dekat sini sebab dia sebab dia um, what we call shelf. So kalau kita nak uh, nak contribute, kita letak dekat sini. Plus sign. Okay. Lagi sekali, write something, embed in, ouch. Okay. Kenapa lah dia hilang? Okay. Embed in, um, delete. So, ni bukti eh. Kita boleh upload bukti yang saya dah uh, buat. Contohnya tadi saya dah buat dekat Share one, upload. Yeah, ni adalah bukti. So you all can share dekat sini, okay? Kalau nak lah, okay? Yang you all dah buat uh, embed dalam elip. Sebab kalau ada problem, uh, I boleh uh, bantu dekat sini. Kemudian pun bukan tak boleh nak bantu, boleh sebenarnya. Cuma ni, this is one of the exercise lah, eh? okay? So boleh tak I bagi you dalam 15 minutes for you to do it on your own. Okay. Kalau ada masalah just give me a shout. Nak uh, Kalau nak whatsapp pun kalau tak nak sebut dalam ni whatsapp pun boleh. Letak dekat chat uh, private pun boleh. Uh, nak 
untuk semua orang tengok pun boleh soalan-soalan tu okay. supaya kita terus terus boleh buat dan terus uh, boleh implement next coming semester. Okay, I leave you for 15 minutes. Terima kasih. Uh, refresh, kita tengok dekat sini. Refresh. Okay. Alright. Yang ni siapa punya ni? Assignment. Ni siapa punya orang Selangor ni? Boleh tak uh, bagi nama ni orang Selangor? Boleh boleh klik this one, edit post and put your name. Nama manja pun tak apa. Ni pun sama. Siapa ni? Uh, orang Kelate, Mac Kelate. Ni Syub Syubaili ke ni? Financial reporting. Ah, Syub lah kot. Syubaili lah kot. Okay. Uh, yang ni belum lagi, belum lagi. Belum lagi. Yang lain janganlah merajuk eh. Kalau nak tambah kolam boleh tambah kolam. Kalau tak letak dekat others ni. Janganlah merajuk. Gunung Kinabalu cantik. Ya, Gunung Kinabalu memang cantik. Let me refresh. Ah, Nadira. First trial for last semester. Oh, this is good. Okay. Alright, so Nadira, are you going to use it again, uh, Padlet, this semester? Uh, I think I will, Doctor. But the problem is now with the free, uh, the free version. Mm -hmm. uh, you are only allowed to do three padlet. Oh, three. Okay. Yes. Why you uh, So do? it is quite limited. Uh huh. So instead of using uh, one padlet for each activity, uh -huh. I decided to use uh, the other, the other type, which is the. Grid, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, sorry, shelf. A shelf. Uh -huh. So, uh, each shelf I use for different activity. Of uh, means that one uh, course, let's say one course financial reporting, contoh lah, and then one, uh, one, one shelf first column you do for week one. Uh, ah yes, column correct. week two something like that. Ah uh, yeah, good, good idea. Mm -hmm. uh, try to archive. Sebab last time Aisyah kata kalau archive kita boleh add more padlet. Uh, correct. Boleh, boleh. Boleh. Uh, uh -huh. so Tapi student archive. cannot view it back lah. Once uh, we started to archive it, student dah tak boleh tengok dah. I see, I see. Uh -huh. Because I have the luxury jadi orang yang awal-awal subscribe <laughs> kan. Mm. Kalau nak subscribe pro pun okay juga. I think it's worth it lah for... for if you really fully utilize, you just go for pro. But if you don't really fully utilize, just use whatever version. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Good, good, good. Okay, dapat idea. I pun dapat idea. Hmm. One, one, one shelf, one week or one activity. Because in activity, kalau kita tengok online SLT that we submitted, not every week we will have uh, online activities, right? Not every week. But some put every week. If they put every week, uh, maksudnya dalam dia punya dalam dia punya elite nanti mesti ada juga activity what kind of activity ya yeah? dalam you punya elite lah so that untuk untuk make sure that tally dengan online SLT tu because some some I see that uh, every week ada ada activity for one hour uh, I don't really put it every week because tak tak semua minggu I akan ada activity. Okay, alright, Nadira, let me refresh, ada lagi tak yang submitted? Belum lagi. Okay, ha, my list of padlet. Mr. Shahab, oh, banyak Mr. Shahab buat ni. Eh? Okay, very good. Don't forget to drink water. Oh, I like that reminder. Okay, so maksudnya uh, AP Shahab is not uh, new on this. Okay, dah jadi expert dah. <laughs> okay, good, good, good to share. Alright. 
Tapi Syaha, you buat ni Padlet ni mostly embedded dalam Elip ataupun you provide link Dua-dua uh, Dua-dua Ah, ah okay, okay, okay. Satu embed Dia straight away uh, Kalau update di Padlet Dia straight away dalam Elite Kan Dia uh, appear uh, yes, yes. Immediately Immediately uh, kan uh, yeah. uh, Yes mm -hmm. uh, Thank you Thank you for your sharing Okay Kita refresh Ada lagi Okay ah. Banyaklah Alright Okay uh 4:15 all right i think yang laila still uh, working on it okay uh i hope that um this simple apps really helps us and uh in helping us with the activities in teaching and learning i'm not so sure whether you can use for assessment or not but i'm not uh, mungkin belum sesuai lagi for assessment it can be done but maybe you provide link for your assessment Okay, but most of the time this Padlet is for the class activities. It could be for your undergraduate students or also your postgraduate students or maybe uh, activities with um, if you give training outside could be as well, maybe the uh, ice breaking session or maybe brainstorming. Yeah, uh, because it's very easy for us to, to put this uh, brainstorming in here. Uh, just give ideas and people can see what is your ideas, especially when we have um, virtual meeting like this. Yeah, very easy. And then ice breaking for the students uh, is also good. Okay, I ask them to upload their pictures, especially first year, first semester students. And then they started to learn these new uh, exciting things. Yeah, uh, maybe in the first uh, instant, they quite overwhelmed with it. But after some times, they feel okay. Okay, mula-mula ni macam excited lah kan. But uh, again, whatever activities that we use uh, in our teaching and learning in using Padlet or using uh, what we call lesson using uh, maybe Add Puzzle, whatever application, please uh, make sure that we clear, we give and provide clear instruction to the student. Okay. And then, uh, as I said just now, for, for me, myself, Padlet can help uh, in terms of the formative assessment for the students, for continuous assessment, especially the nature of my class uh, is more on the practical part as well as theoretical part, yeah? not really on calculation. We, we can explore later on how uh, Padlet can be used for calculation. Maybe we can ask uh, our uncle or maybe we can Google because there are quite a, a number of um, YouTube uh, videos on, on Padlet posted by various people. Okay. And I think... Uh, Kalau you nak tunjuk, just, uh, you just can add, yeah, you just can add in here, even though after the session end, no problem, okay, so that we can uh, always see this, uh, the result of your, uh, of your work, yeah. A good, a simple idea to create it and communicate the limited due to the motivation to participate and free version limit. Yeah, Dr. Haira mentioned here, uh, communicate limited due to student motivation to participate. I think uh, student motivation to participate maybe you push sikit lah. Okay. Like for myself, okay. Um, some students, they just don't bother. Even for the group, they just don't bother. That's why when we put it in here, let's say group one, group two, group three, um, we always say group three, where is your submission? Where is your website link? Uh, we push them somehow or other. And then for the, let's say, um, that's why contohnya macam uh, <clears throat> the task, the reflection, if you want them to do the reflection in Padlet, um, maybe we can ask them to do, uh, to provide their metric and metric and name. But then I think for reflection, uh, last time I use Padlet sebab I tak tahu dalam Elip ada reflection. But then when I see dalam Elip ada reflection tools, 
I use uh, reflection dalam elip. So it will be uh, easier because kita boleh bagi markah terus dalam elip sana. Okay. So uh, student participation of course we have to we have to ketuk-ketuk sikit lah. Okay. Uh, some students they just don't bother um, but we have to encourage them because they are quite far away from here from us uh, in a virtual class so somehow or rather we, we want to make sure that they participate so we have to push uh, harder yeah okay and then free version limit maybe like you can sacrifice a kid uh, to update upgrade to pro version could be i don't know but as i said just now if you really fully utilize padlet maybe it is a good idea to upgrade to a professional version but if you don't just uh, use it maybe once in a semester or twice a semester so we just make do uh, with the pre version okay as you see uh, because i subscribe I mean, and me and uja i think uh, a few of us we subscribed uh, padlet uh, quite a long time ago so we enjoy this uh, so called unlimited uh, padlet uh, um, that we can we can create it yeah of course lah makin lama makin kurang lah dia punya free tu kan dia nak subscribe minta orang subscribe so that's how they make money okay uh, everyone kalau tadi soalan i think is towards the end of the session uh, Ahmad Ibrahimi, Dr. Ahmad, uh, you have anything to say or anything to share with us? Dr. Ahmad, okay, I keep on refreshing this with the hope that we can see no, some it's, result. It's okay, doctor. It's okay. Eh? So not, really, not really, I don't have any inquiry. All right, so you are able to follow this session? Yeah, yeah? Somehow I can, yeah, I can follow. Okay, you can follow. That's good, that's good. It's good as well if you can share the result uh, in here so that we can we all can see and share. Okay? All right. Uh, uh, Puan Siti Aslina, you have anything to say, Puan Aslina? Or you want and do you have it's okay, Ayo. Thank you. Okay. Boleh tak loss in space eh? Suka I yeah. lagi sangat sebab I banyak cakap. Boleh <laughs> tapi kena slowly digest. Alright, alright. Okay. Alright. No problem. Okay. So I think uh, that's all for today. Kalau belum ada take attendance, I think all of us dah ambil attendance eh. Uh, the food is ready uh, outside. And for those outside FEB, if you want to take the the food, minum petang, okay, uh, the tea, so I can uh, set aside for you and please get back, uh, please come to FEB to collect it from me uh, before 5 p.m. Okay, just let me know. I will set aside for you. Maybe you can uh, PM me privately, yeah, if you don't want anybody else to see, to, to see you asking me to... Uh, keep it aside for you. Alright, I think uh, that's all for today. Kita habis awal sikit lah. Awal uh, tujuh minit boleh? Alright, I think because it's really raining heavily outside. Some of you wanted to maybe want to go early. So I thank you for attending this session. Terima kasih banyak-banyak. Okay. Uh, segala yang baik tu, uh, all the good things come from Allah. Mana-mana yang kelemahan itu datang daripada diri saya sendiri. All the um, the weaknesses is from ah uh, from my own self. Okay, inshallah. Uh, hopefully that uh, it is uh, this section, this workshop session is beneficial to all of us, and hopefully that we can help our students to learn better, to do um, and to engage better uh, with the learning, teaching and learning activities. Okay, thank you very much, and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.